Let's go. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here. And today I want to give you a lesson about healthy versus sick cells in our bodies. And I want to focus especially on chronic inflammation. Now there are a multitude of diseases, each with its own little fancy sounding diagnosis, and interestingly enough, each with a corresponding drug. And the medical experts confirm that virtually all major health conditions stem from one primary cause, and that is chronic inflammation. Now I want to be very clear about what I'm going to teach you today. So again, I am not talking about localized inflammation, which is often acute inflammation and is a natural healing process that our bodies initiate in response to an injury or an infection. This is the kind of inflammation that shows up as a uh, fever, maybe in response to a bacteria infection that you may have, and it can be very healthy and is not the type of inflammation that I'm talking about. So I want to talk to you about chronic inflammation and what that looks like from a cellular level. You see, if you were to look at two cells, one would be a healthy cell, one would be an unhealthy cell under a microscope, you might notice that the healthy cell has an intact, sharp outline of the cell membrane and its inner parts, which is the nucleus and the cytoplasm. On the other hand, an unhealthy cell would look swollen, uh, have a blurry outline of the cell membrane and its insides, and it would be misshapen. So a healthy cell is able to carry out its normal function by producing clean energy, and efficiently ridding itself of waste, while the unhealthy or the sick cell cannot produce clean energy or cleanse itself of the toxic load. And many times this will result in an inflammatory response in our body. So I'll talk to you about some natural solutions to this deadly epidemic, okay? And I believe the first step is essential fatty acids, EFAs, essential fatty acids. There are two types of essential fatty acids, omega-3s, and omega-6, O3 and O6. And both omega-3 and omega-6 fats are essential for health. The problem is in the Western and the standard diet that we eat, we're overwhelmed by omega-6s compared to omega-3s. And science has shown this to be a leading driver of inflammation. So if we'll replace the vegetable oils high in omega-6 fats in your diet with the following omega-3 rich fats, I think you're gonna gain some real, real leverage. Number one, real butter, ghee, coconut oil, avocado oil, those are great. And you should eat at least two to three servings per week of omega-3 rich fish, as well as take a fish oil supplements if you can. So if fish or fish oils aren't an option, then I would recommend you go to the next level, which has some omega-3 as well, and more of the ALA type, but chia seeds, walnuts, and flax seeds are actually a good substitute. So the key is you're trying to balance out your O6 and your O3s in your diet so that the O6 aren't really overpowering the O3s so that your body can heal and repair properly the way God has designed it. And if you'll do that, I believe and declare, you will be all that you were created to be. God bless you guys. Take care. We'll see you soon.